My name's Gordon Proctor and I direct the Mucosal and Salivary Research Group here at King's College London in the Dental Institute. For a number of years now, I have been studying the function of saliva and salivary glands. And so today's question is, why study spit? All of the internal body surfaces are coated by a fluid which helps to protect them and prevent disease. And saliva fulfills that function for the mouth. This fluid is packed full of components which have a antimicrobial function and can control bacteria and other microorganisms that are present in the mouth. There are some diseases which cause a chronic loss or change of the properties of saliva in the mouth. And not only can these affect oral health, they can also impact on everyday activities that we take for granted. For example, tasting and swallowing food, or even speaking. So, we study saliva in order to find out how we might replace it if it's lost or enhance its functions. We study salivary gland function in order to determine how saliva is made. Some patients with salivary gland disease have the absence of saliva and by learning how it's made we can determine how to treat those glands and then bring back the saliva that those patients have lost. A second part of our research on saliva is concerned with what it tells us about our health and how it might be used to diagnose disease. Many components of saliva are derived from the rest of the body and not just salivary glands or the oral tissues. So like blood, it can be used to diagnose systemic disease. We can use saliva to determine whether somebody's infected with HIV or hepatitis. In the future, it's likely that we will see the increased use of saliva in diagnostic testing. Unlike blood, it doesn't require the use of a needle and so it can be collected repeatedly and easily from subjects. Recent research in linguistics suggests that spit is one of a few highly conserved words that was in use 15,000 years ago. So it would seem that we've always been preoccupied with spit and what it says about us.